Hi everyone, you're with Lucy from Art Shed Angel and Lucy's Craft Cafe and I wanted to show you today some making some cards using different techniques with embossing ink and embossing powder, clear embossing powder. So I'm going to do three cards today and I'm going to use three different techniques and each time I'm going to use embossing ink and embossing powder. So the first one I'm going to do, I'll just put these out of the way, the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to do in browns. So I'm going to choose three different browns and I'm just, these are um, Tombow felt pens. Now Tombow pens are really great to use with watercolour because they are watercolour pens. Um, I, they are actually my preference to alcohol markers, but everyone has their own preference and I do actually like to use alcohol markers as well. And I'm just going to use this different brown at the bottom here. Now I'm going to make the backgrounds first before I do anything else and I'm just showing you a quick technique to make these backgrounds. So I'm going to use my little bottle of spray and I'm going to spray this lightly. And just give it a little bit of a blend. But I don't want to blend and lose all this lovely colour in the middle. So clean your brush halfway through. And go towards the darker colours rather than going from a dark colour to a light. So that's what I've got here already. And I'm going to leave that to dry for a few minutes while we do the other ones. So this one here... We're going to just wet the page. These are really quick, simple things to do. So I'm just wetting the page. And in this case, I'm going to use watercolour inks. And I'm going to put some yellow. And this one's here called Citrus. And it's a paper mill one. And the link is below. And some magenta. And some blue so I'm just putting a little bit of each over here not really worrying where I put them okay now I'm going to use my spray bottle again oh spray it the right direction that was funny okay and then I'm going to just roll it around a little bit let it bleed I want to cover most of this piece of cardboard so I don't mind if it bleeds a little bit and you can also, with a clean brush, just push it around a little bit. Make sure your brush is reasonably clean, though. I don't want too much where it goes brown because the wrong colours have mixed together. Okay, so that's number two, and I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to clean up this mat. Isn't this glass mat wonderful? I've done a review of the Tim Holtz mat. And I do love it because it's so easy to keep clean, which I do love. Okay, so now this one here, I'm actually going to use, this is a quite an old ink pad of mine. It's the Collider Colour ink pad. And I'm just going to use this tool. I'm not trying to get um, a nice smooth background here, by the way. So I actually want it to look a little like crumpled paper. So, and what I'm using here for this particular um, activity is watercolour paper, but it didn't need to be watercolour paper, it just needs to be reasonably thick. I'm just going to use the cleaner end of that on the yellow. So I've got a bit of yellow and a bit of blue, mainly blue though. So this one here doesn't look quite as exciting, but we're actually going to sprinkle some water on it. So I'm going to put some water in my fingers, in my palm of my hand, and just sprinkle it on. Get a brush with some water and just tap some water. We want some nice sort of droplet effects on this. Don't go overboard though. And we are going to let this dry as well. Now, once all of these have dried, we'll do the next step. Now 
we have three lovely backgrounds. Now these would be great in your art journals and they'd also be great in card making. So what we're actually going to do with these is where we are going to emboss them with some clear embossing. So I've got some embossing powder. This is just clear embossing powder and I keep it in a container like this because I find that it's really, really useful and you don't spill it everywhere. And I've got some embossing ink. I have a pretty much no name one at this stage and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do this brown one so I'm going to put these two aside so I don't make a mess and then I see I've got ink all over my stencil from my previous thing so I'm just cleaning that ink off now I'm going to go halfway down this page and I'm going to put the stencil on and then I'm going to use a um, makeup sponge now you could use your, um, your, the tools to do this and I'm using my makeup sponge to just put embossing ink. Now this is clear embossing ink and it needs to be clear for this particular activity. Although this is also a way if you wanted to um, put some gold embossing or something on this, this is a way you could do that. Now I've done that and I'm now going to dip it through my embossing powder. And you can see there that I have those numbers all over there. Actually a little bit too much there, need a dry brush. If there's any way you don't want it, just make sure you take it off. Now, I'm not worrying about one of those puffer things here because I kind of feel like it, it doesn't really matter if we get some little specks. Now, I'm going to heat this up now. When you're embossing, just make sure you keep that heat tool moving around and not staying in one spot. You don't want to cause it to suck straight into the watercolour paper. So you can see even though this is sped up, I'm actually moving it around and keeping it moving. Now never overheat your uh, embossing powder. So what I've done here is I've embossed this. I'm going to let it cool for a, just a moment because if I start rubbing it when it's hot, I am actually going to damage the embossing. But I'll just come in really close. So you could be using the Distress inks, which would look so good with this. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a sponge and I'm going to colour over the top. And this is like magic. So you can see there that we're getting this beautiful blue but it, you can still see the brown through it I'm going to use some of the more red color here too I'm getting this beautiful I'm just going to go around the edge too just to give that that kind of finished look to it now this would make a fantastic man's card and it'd also be really lovely as a page in a junk journal or anything like that so this is the first one very very simple all we did was we embossed with clear we used a stencil which was really really easy to do and I'm just going to put that aside and bring over the colored one so the colored one I think I'm going to use this lovely sunray stencil which I also have ink on. I put them there to dry and got ink everywhere. So I'm going to use this sunray stencil here and again I'm going to just use the embossing ink to stencil. Now because it's clear you really got to have a little look. Does it look wet or doesn't it? It doesn't take a lot to do it. And if you feel more secure, you can actually tape this all down to the, to the actual board. Some people like to have that little bit of firmness there. All right, same thing. I'm gonna put it through our embossing powder check out if there's anything we don't want and I don't want that there 
And then I am going to heat this again and melt it. Okay, so what we have here is we have a beautiful sort of um, jacquard effect, really. Now, what I'm going to do is going to be a little bit odd. You're going to wonder, why is she doing this? But what we're going to do now is we're going to take a brush and we're going to wet this whole area. And I'm actually going to take it in rays out. Really soak it. And then with a the cloth, wipe the colour away and you can see here I've worked with this shape of the um, in this case I've worked with the shape of the rays even for the rest of it so make it nice and wet um, don't go crazy rubbing it hard if you do that what you'll end up with is you'll end up um, with your paper rolling. And I think I'm going to blend this down too. So heaps of water. And you can see you have this, and as this dries, it, there'll be more and more difference between this colour and this colour because of the way that it bleeds. So we'll have a look at that in just a moment when it dries, but you have this terrific card that you could um, use as a card front or again in your art journal. Now the very last one I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp some flowers and I'm going to stamp a dragonfly. Now I'm just having a look at where I think I'd like my dragonfly to be and I think my dragonfly I want to have here in this dark spot. So I'm taking my dragonfly which is one of my stamps you can find on my website and I'm just stamping him and I'm also I've got this daisy border stamp which is from my previous business Lucy stamps. And I'm just doing the little border stamp there. Then quickly, before it gets too dry, I'm putting it through the embossing powder. Now, if you have embossing powder anywhere you don't want it, please just brush it off. And you'll need to use a dry brush for that. Now, you can, like I said, you can use the... Um, little bags that you have which are great but I'm not worried too much today about that so put this away don't want to be heating the whole container So this time I'm going to use both of my techniques. So I'm going to take the blue and I'm going to go up and you'll see the flowers will be a little bit lighter. In fact the yellow ones that are over the yellow look terrific. So this is just this could be your um, any kind of inks you have that are dye inks which are water soluble, so the distress ones look great. And I'm also going to take my brush and do like little grass effects here that will bleed. That's the fun when you use dye inks and you can have sort of interesting effects happening. And even if I go behind these daisies and do some grass effects 
they will show up as it dries. And the really interesting part, now you need a, a paper towel or something that you can scoop up some ink. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take water and just colour around this dragonfly and then I'm going to pick it up and then I'm going to do swirls like he's coming out of something and each time I'm just scooping up whatever ink comes up and I want this to be almost like a vortex I guess if you think you've taken too much colour away, just spread it a little bit around. But this works beautifully in an art journal. So what we have here is this dragonfly now popping out. And as that dries, you'll see if I actually wipe some of the colour away from those daisies. You just give it a little polish. And if you put a little bit of water on your... Um, on your paper towel but don't get too much behind because you don't want to wipe the whole flower away so you can see here and I'm just going to take a little bit of the blue and just do some little vortexy sprays so in this activity we have done three beautiful backgrounds. Now each of them would have an equal use in a card or an art journal or anything you like and all we've used is products that you probably already have, stencils, um, we've used um, Tombow felt pens in this one, I've used watercolour inks in this one and I've used an ink pad to colour the background in that one and each time we've used embossing ink to create uh, an image and embossing powder so if you liked my video I would love you to click that button and subscribe I will be putting lots and lots more technique videos out this one is a really simple one which you could everybody can use and I hope you enjoy it and also please join live art journaling and self-development my Facebook group with Jolene Payne this is where we do live videos every week so thank you everyone, it's Lucy from Art Shed Angel and Lucy's Craft Cafe. Thank you very much, bye.